everybody. Today we got a coin roll hunt. We're gonna do five dollars in dimes and two dollars in nickels. Cool roll. Two rolls. There you can see the front. Pretty cool. And then this side, which is just a very beat up nickel. And for the dimes, we have this the back of one. And the back one. So yeah, we're just gonna go sort these. Uh, I'm gonna do the nickels first. So let's get them started. Open up the nickels. See if there's anything good inside. I want to open mine. Okay, we have an interesting nickel there. Let's pick it up. Ooh, 1964. Goldie. Good. Let's keep on searching this roll here. See if there's any other good spots to look at. Um, nope, doesn't look like it. I'm going to go hunt this roll. And I'll catch you back when I do. Alright, looks like we're done hunting those roll of, nick I roll of nickels. And there's a lot of good finds in here. There's actually four of these ocean view commemoratives actually only three sorry but then there's another one with the um keelboat nickel pretty cool and the front for all these are uh a different angle of uh thomas jefferson's face which i think goes pretty cool looking but yeah and this one's just the other one um Another one we got is a 19, that's just a dirty one, oops, sorry. Uh, we got a 1970S, pretty good condition. So yeah, I kind of thought that was kind of cool. And then a 64, another 64, this one's kind of beat up, but yeah. A 64 right there, somebody took some, a marker or something and... <laughs> put it on it, but yeah, that's all the finds for that rule. Let's get hunting the dimes. We're gonna go open the roll live in case if uh, you know, anything is good in this roll. And you know, what? it looks pretty um, the old style dime one roll. Um, I don't really see this style that often. Kind of hard opening it one handed. Hang on. Okay. Um. So this is gonna be my first roll of dimes hunting. And on my channel. So let's open her up. Hard. Oh. Got it open. Doesn't look like any silver in there. Any on the sides? Want to check? There we go. Nope, but some suspicious looking enders here. But no silver. So we're gonna get to hunting this roll and tell you if I find anything. Alright, looks like we're finished hunting that roll of dimes. Nothing really that interesting, but I do have a couple things to show you before I uh, get, get going. So, we got a 1941 and a 1945 wheat penny inside of uh, my teacher gave them to me. And how she gave them to me is uh, the... You might have this at your school. It's called the Penny Wars, where you take uh, donations and stuff, and you, you know, uh, it's called penny for penny for patients, stuff like that. You uh, donate for that, and sometimes stuff gets through, like foreign coins and uh, Chuck E. Cheese tokens, and kids think they're like money or something, like you know, um, I don't know, you know, like Canadian and stuff. They might think, oh. It's U.S. money, you can be accepted. I found bus tokens, of course, foreign coins, a lot of Canadian, actually. 
because I live near Canada, but not quite in Canada. And, um, yeah, basically those kind of things, foreign coins. Sometimes I find, I never found old pennies like this. I think the reason why they didn't take this one is because it was just like, it's kind of, kind of has like a big lump. It kind of it just doesn't look like it would go through a coin machine. And this one, I don't know why. It's it's just a dirty penny. It, it, it could have been accepted, but hey, I'm glad I got these. So, uh, my teacher was nice enough to give me the, to the tokens and all this stuff and the cool wheat pennies. So, yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.